What are you doing? Making a rucksack. I got a ruck. Why? We are out of options and uh, either looking at 311 or 11 Bravo for one of the two branches. I just need to figure yeah. out which way I want to go with it. So I need to go to the desert, get some answers, get some exercise, and I'll be back. Okay. Do you have water? I have enough. Okay. It's hot out. Use a drink. Well, dig a well. Dig a well. It's some sort of oracle. What's it trying to tell me? There is greatness in you, and you can be great. Is he? He's been rucking for hours. What does it mean? Wells. What does it mean? If you've come to my what is it? I'm so thirsty. What I'm trying to do is offer you hope in the middle of this dark. Bob Wells. <laughs> it's Bob Wells. It was always Bob Wells. It was always for five years. It was always Bob Wells. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh my god, is this water? Yes! Oh I my found god, it I'm so thirsty. I'm so thirsty. Why did you dig a the, hole? The desert revealed itself. The desert revealed itself to me. It's been Bob Wells the whole time. Are you dehydrated? We need to go get you some water, maybe some I'm medical. A little dehydrated, but did you see him? Who? Bob. We have to go to Bob. We have to go to Bob. Ugh, he got dirt in my mouth. Nana, are you ready? Are you ready for adventure? Welcome back to Candy Adventures. That's something I didn't think I would ever be saying again. But here we are. This is Chris and I'm Elizabeth. We live full time in the truck camper that you see back behind us, uh, full time boondocking. And uh, to today's video is going to be the Deus Ex Machina experience, which you're, if you're unfamiliar, it's like God is in the machine. It's, an, it's a very old term. And from plays, if you write yourself into a corner, it is your <laughs> way out. <laughs> way out that uh, kind of comes from, from externally and just comes in and like... Kind of saves fixes, the plot. Yeah, fixes yeah. the problem that the, the, the writers wrote into the plot. And that's what's happening here. Uh, we said w that we probably weren't going to be uploading anymore. And... Um, uh, we had a, we a Deus Ex Machina experience. <laughs> so basically what happened was we had made the tough decision to step back indefinitely. And um, about a year ago, I had reached out to a channel called Cheap RV Living. And uh, they do a lot of interviews, but I found out that they're almost a year in advance to uh, get an interview with them. And a couple weeks before we took a step back, I had reached out one more time just asking if maybe there was an opening that we could kind of squeeze into. And of course, after we posted that we were stepping back, they said that there was. So we uh, had to, uh, what is it, put, put, our, put our feet in our mouth? <laughs> But not in a weird like Nickelodeon director way, but like oh, no. like 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 a legitimate put your foot in your mouth. So yeah. here we are. 
um, and we're going to try it one more time. But we are a little worried still because these the, they could decide to post that video. It's a channel that has over 700,000 subscribers, been on YouTube since the beginning of YouTube. Yeah. And was an internet presence in the nomad life in the world before that with websites. Um, they might not post that video for 52 weeks from now. Yeah. So it's hard to say, but it was at least like another chance. We were still going back and forth on whether or not we wanted to do it. But at the same time, we'd also been reaching out to e-bikes to try to get supplemental income and we're getting no traction there either until we posted the post that we were stepping back and then all of a sudden we had a few e-bike companies reach out like 10 probably 10 yeah <laughs> and that they all wanted us to review stuff um so it was like okay well you know if we do the interview and at least make a couple more videos and kind of wait to see if that interview goes up sooner rather than later maybe it might it might get some traction and circumvent the search algorithm that seems to not favor us in the last three months we've, or uh, three weeks since we've posted a video we've also put a lot of job applications out yeah uh, probably 50 between the two of us just job applications all over the place and you know uh but we still have plan a which is infantry in one of the two branches <laughs> um yeah that fixes all our problems at once place to live and money and yeah. insurance and uh a secondary uh college benefit which would be cool yeah when we posted that we were stepping back there were people that tried to give us um ideas to try to make the channel grow faster and it's uh things that we've definitely tried to do in the past which is crossing over with other channels that have a bigger following um and we've tried that for the entire life of our channel we've had channels reach out and say wow your channel looks we really like it and we enjoy it i don't know why you're not any bigger and at the same time they won't do, do a, a crossover. crossover with us but they'll always message us in the dm saying wow i don't know why it isn't better if you mm -hmm. tried this and if you tried this and it's like it's almost insulting <laughs> because a lot of the channels that do that to us have been a channel for like half the amount of time yes they've only been a channel for like a year or so and like i i don't know we try as hard as we can yeah. I, I i i don't know and we've also had two channels that have closer to a million subscribers yeah have reached out to do uh which in the dms are like okay cool we'll do a crossover video we'll come up with the idea we like uh, like fun ideas for stuff yeah so we came up with like a boating idea or a fishing idea and they'll take our idea and then not cross over with us that's happened two times yep anyways <laughs> moral of the story is we've been doing this for a long time and uh we, we just can't keep we love doing it but we yes. just can't keep doing it so this and we, is and our we, we've tried to circumvent the search algorithm by reaching out to these other channels and it's more frustrating when we have bigger channels say oh my god your content is so good i don't know why you don't have traction but then it just stops there so once bob wells from cheap rv living said that we could do an interview like that's the closest that we've come to actually being able to be on someone else's channel and kind of promote ourselves and get our name out there so that if that works that's fantastic we're going to do a few more videos i think on youtube and and see what happens how but if that if he doesn't can't end up putting us on the channel until like a year out from now um, yeah. it doesn't do us any good because we're we're broke and have no views right now so we're, yeah. we're gonna have to shift gear so we're just getting everybody a heads up but there'll still there'll be a couple more videos after this and we'll yeah. kind of play it out um so we have to drive up to nevada from southern arizona for this interview so we'll have to uh decide what we want to take for the interview and pack stuff up and head up there and then we'll probably do a couple more videos while we're up there since we did the whole drive we'll be getting up uh 3 a.m in the morning 2 or 3 a.m in the morning tomorrow yeah and then hitting it all in one shot uh it's about eight or nine hours of driving and then we have to be ready for the interview uh kind of mid-afternoon early afternoon yep and then figure out what we're where we're going to camp after that because we've never <laughs> been to this area so we're tentatively excited. There, There is an opportunity, but we just can't put all of our hopes into it because uh, hashtag rock bottom, uh, you put in a lot of plans and things just don't go as planned. So it's just a shot. All right, well, I'm gonna start packing all this stuff up because I'm gonna take about a 30 minute stress nap knowing that this is our <laughs> final Hail, Hail Mary for this channel after getting close to six years of making videos. Yeah. Um, so that'll be a super stressful nap that I'll take. And um, we'll see you guys in the morning. Yep. <laughs> All right, everything's off the bed. Bed is made. The zippers are all up, so it's as close to airtight as possible for the vent we've got the motorcycle trailer hooked up we did that yesterday so it was just tucking in some cords 
putting some stuff down on the couch for travel purposes, putting the fridge in the hallway, and I think we're good to go. You ready to drive for six hours? For Bob. <laughs> All right, now I feel guilty because we're getting ready to fire up this this old tractor and there's people sleeping. So. They did park right next to us, so. Are you upset to be up so early? I've well, reshot several. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know all about that. You don't care if we film you a little bit. I mean, you don't have to talk you to the camera. You are welcome. But, but we just so we can say we came and met you and that we we did a video. Whatever just, you want to do, I'll do. We'll, we'll, just, do. we'll just show something in the background like that. Stuff, yeah. That was super exciting. We've been watching Bob Wells for literally years. When we were still living in Guam, we were kind of lusting after doing some kind of van life, truck camper, exploring. Uh, lifestyle and a lot of boondocking and that man is is the library of alexandria when it comes to information in regards to living off grid alternative lifestyles and uh it's just so weird to meet him that, that man's got almost a million subscribers and been doing this for a long time and yeah. so that was super fun uh actually getting to meeting him I'm still very excited about it yep and we've been trying to do a crossover with another channel to try to grow our viewership for literally years the only other channel that we've ever done a crossover with ever and oh five almost six years is, is guam is expeditions captain ron yeah <laughs> captain ron you're the only person that's ever crossed over with us but the first pelagic of candy adventures thank you, you to captain ron hold him up hold him up good job that's the biggest fish i've ever caught in my life that's freaking awesome we're just getting started yeah this is freaking awesome beautiful fish also so, very cool very nice yep. man yeah so uh, yeah. yeah thank you captain ron if you're still watching <laughs> Um, you're the only other person in almost six years that has ever crossed over with us for a video. Yeah. And then after we met Bob, we stopped by a local uh, like mailing office because ahead of time we sent a couple e-bikes there. For some reason, as soon as we announced that we were stepping back for a bit, we had e-bike uh, companies reach out to us and they're kind of a source of supplemental income because we can review them and also integrate them into some adventure videos and then we sell them um, so it can be supplemental income along with the amount that we get from YouTube. We're, we're, we're attacking this, this gig grind economy. We're really, we're really <laughs> going all, all in on that. We, our, our revenue sources is like $11 here, $11 there, $11 yeah. there. It's kind of like we're gonna take it where we can get it. Um, we did spend about a full week applying to a lot of full-time jobs and it just takes a while to hear back from full-time jobs. You even have to wait for the closing date and then it's usually a month after that for the interview process. So because these opportunities kind of fell into our lap, we would at least do it in the interim for waiting to hear back about full-time jobs or enlistment or whatnot. We applied everywhere from, from <laughs> Idaho to Pod, South Padre Island, Texas to zigzag in the, the country and then I, I finally got my mile times to where i can comfortably run seven minute miles um so I'm, I'm ready to join the military so really right now we are in a holding pattern um just so thankful that that bob did a video with us the only thing we're worried about is that that video might not go up for months yeah it it might take even a year um he's able to interview people very quickly because an interview only takes a day so you can get a backlog very quickly um, and there's never going to be an assured time when, when that goes up because he's so popular and he gets to interview so many people that have a variety of setups. So right now, after our interview and picking up the e-bikes, we are looking for a remote spot in Nevada. This is our first time here with the truck camper, actually. Um, and we did not expect some of these mountains around us. We looked at this on the map. Uh, Bob and his team told us about this area to go, go kind of check it out. And uh, he, he's not wrong. This is absolutely stunning. There's nobody around. Yeah. We're going, we're in uh, low range <laughs> in this transmission, not for low, but just low range and inching through here because it's very rough, but there's nobody. And there's white snow capped mountains over here. 
It's a very pretty area and a lot of these mountains as we are driving by, there's caves, which is also really cool. And I'm a big fan of a lot of lore, a lot, a, a lot of lore. Um, Nevada does have a cave that is famous for being the last place that uh, the giant red-headed giants um, oh. fought a native tribe here. And uh, that, that wasn't specifically in this area, but just a little further away. Yeah. And then also the Kenny Beach M Cave, if you are familiar with that kind of lore, uh, is also just over that mountain range over there. So seeing all these little caves is just my brain uh, is on fire. <laughs> we probably are going to explore some of those like just on our downtime. But it's a very nice area. And now that the interview is over, we're probably gonna stay up here for a few days and uh, explore with the e-bikes and maybe make a couple more videos. And it's free, this is BLM land. Yeah. We got full water tanks, uh, we have some food, and uh, so we can be up here for, for two weeks in this spot, so. Yep. All right, we're gonna keep driving a little bit and see if we can find a nice semi-flat space uh, away from the road a little bit where we can have a campsite for the next few days. And Mona can stretch her legs. Look at her, she wants to go so bad. Oh boy. Do you want to run around? Oh, that's cool. 